All right, you guys know him. He's right here in our studio. You're pretty much here almost every other Friday. This is Colorado's best attorney, Phil Harding, in this sponsored segment. Phil, today we're talking about a series of things. I'm going to let you kick it off. What exactly is the topic of conversation? Well, so let's, let's talk about a client that came in yesterday to uh. me. Um, and this is regarding a personal injury action, right? If you're in a car accident, hurt on the property of another, you think, I can handle this case by myself. Right. Let's go through all of it. First of all, if you're handling the case by yourself, you're with the lowest of low adjusters because they know you don't know the law. And so let's talk about this person that came in. She came in and she's like, look, I got 30000 in medical bills. Medicaid paid for it. And the amount that they want back is like 2500 bucks." So I went to the insurance company. I said, give me the full policy limit, which is 25000 And they said, nah, we'll give you $4,000. And so what we're going to talk about is the collateral source doctrine where it mandates that the insurance company has to pay the billed amount, not the paid amount. Okay. But let's go into this a little bit more. Yeah. And so Dive remember, deeper. the insurance company has people that do this all the time. It's like you go up to Central City in Blackhawk, sitting down at the poker table, someone's a card shark. They're not telling you, I'm a card shark, I'm going to take your money, but they do. Here's the easiest example. If the insurance company pays too much, the bad guy that ran into you, can now bring a lawsuit against them. Because remember, his premiums, his future premiums on his car insurance are based upon how much is paid out, right? So if his car insurance paid you $5,000, his premium goes up this much. If they pay the full $25,000, his premiums go up that much. So they can't start at the top. They have to start at the bottom. And so in this situation, what is the first thing you do as an attorney to help someone like that? Yeah, well, I tell people don't talk to the other side. As a matter of yeah. fact, there's a law in Colorado that specifically says if you are injured, it is illegal, right? Illegal under Colorado law for the other side to call you and take a statement within 15 days. And here's the reason why. The day after the accident, maybe your neck and your back hurt. Mm -hmm. Then you get some treatment. That starts to subside, and now these lesser pains in your arms and your legs, which you didn't notice before, start to come through. So the other side says, mm, I took a statement three days, and you said you your said neck. You said only your neck. Yeah, we're not paying for anything else. Oh, my goodness. It's so important. Just don't talk to the other side. Talk to an attorney. Get a free consultation. But I want to talk about, first of all, don't talk to the other side, and they're going to tell you, I want to see your medical bills because I'm going to pay them. The other side writes one check and only one check at the very end. And here's the reason why that they want to see your medical bills. Let's look at this. It's called an EOB, right? Explanation of benefits. Mm -hmm. If you have health insurance, Medicaid, Medicare. So here's Swedish Hospital. They billed $29,000. Discounted amount. Health insurance comes and says normal and customary. You have to reduce it by you know, $20,000. So the amount covered by the plan is $8,500. Remember that example I told you about, you know, mm -hmm. yesterday, client coming in? So in this scenario, the other side would say, okay, I'll pay you the 8500 Wrong. You signed up for Medicaid. You signed up for Medicare. You've been paying for health insurance premiums, not the bad guy. So they have to pay the full 29000 What you send to them is just the 29000 They have to pay that. So on this one claim alone, you lost over $20,000. And remember, this is only on one medical bill. You still get pain and suffering, disfigurement, permanent impairment, mm -hmm. lost time from work. Don't be like this person that came in and talked to me. I mean, now we're handling the case, and we're going to get it back on the right track. But you could have gotten ahead of it, right? Way ahead of yeah. it. Just don't talk to the other side. They have two jobs, making money for their company and protecting the insured, and you're neither one. So just stay away from them. You're going to lose out more by picking up the phone from the insurance company, right? Yeah. Rather than just calling an attorney and figuring it out yourself. And there's a big misconception, too, that you know attorneys are super expensive and I don't want to call an attorney. But you might be in the hole more if you not. absolutely will be in the hole yeah. more. And look, if you hire an attorney, you go up to a higher level adjuster who has more authority, mm -hmm. who's going to give you more money. And so when you call an attorney, say, Give me a scenario, if I handle it myself or if you handle it, and let them run through it. And if you don't like it, try to handle it yourself. I doubt that you're not going to like that, though. There you go. And you have to call the right attorney. That's why this guy is staying in our studio. Thank you, Phil. You're for the welcome. whole rundown, a wealth of knowledge right here. To reach Harding & Associates directly, just give them a call, 303-762-9500. They will pick up the phone. It's a free consultation at any time. You can find Phil online also at hlaw.com, as well as rskwgn.com. Thank you, Phil, for coming in and sponsoring this segment. Thank you.